Contextual relationships The same property can be used in different systems. This leads to the need to apply relationships according to the specific usage context. Let's analyze the example. The required capacity of a fuel tank in a hybrid SUV context is 50 liters, while the required capacity of a fuel tank in a truck context is 500 liters. These two cases represent the same model element, the capacity value property, used in two different contexts. To define that only value properties from the hybrid SUV context satisfy requirements, use contextual relationships. To create and display contextual relationships, you need to show multiple levels of the nested part structure within a particular system. This can be done in Dependency Matrix, Generic Table, Structure Tree tab of Model Browser, and Diagram with Symbols. Let's now demonstrate all the ways to create contextual relationships. Before you can create contextual relationships in your project, you must enable their creation first. Creating Contextual Satisfy Relationships in Dependency Matrices Set part and value properties as the row element type. Select the blocks for which the nested part structure should be shown and set these blocks as the row scope. Set the requirement as the column element type. Set the requirement package as the column scope. To represent the nested part structure within a particular system defined as the row scope, Click the Specify Row Query icon. Select Structure and click OK. Since row and column elements are defined, specify the Contextual Satisfy Dependency criterion. Click the Three Dots button next to the Dependency criteria. In the Simple Navigation operation, click to apply Satisfy Contextual under the Contextual Relations Criteria group and click OK. As a result, the same nested part structure is represented as rows within different system contexts. Let's create a contextual satisfy for a value property in the specific context only. For this, double-click the appropriate cell. Since the satisfy relationship was created only for the value property in this particular system context, the relationship is not displayed in any other system context. Contextual Satisfy Relationships in Tables Since the structure view is built, we need to add a custom column representing the satisfied requirements. In the Diagram toolbar, click Columns, New Custom Column. Specify the name of the derived property. In the Simple Navigation operation, click to apply Satisfy Contextual under the Contextual Relations Criteria group and click OK. Since a context-specific Satisfy relationship was created, requirements are satisfied in this particular context only. Creating Contextual Satisfy Relationships directly from the Structure tab. Select the block in the Containment tree. Click the Open in Tree button and select Open in New Structure Tree. Expand the tree until you see the particular value property. Drag this property from the Structure tree and drop it on the requirement. As a result, the Satisfies node appears, which contains the requirement satisfied only in this particular context. Creating Contextual Satisfy Relationships in a Diagram with Symbols In the Model Browser, click on a requirement and drop it onto the diagram. Select the Value property and click the Satisfy button in the Smart Manipulator toolbar. Choose the displayed requirement as a target of relationship. As a result, the Contextual Satisfy Relationship is created. This concludes our video on contextual relationships. For more information, please visit our website at the link below.